Dear learners, I'm Ridwan and welcome to this lesson on transformation of simple, complex and compound sentence. So today's topic for discussion is uh, transformation of simple, complex and compound sentence. Dear learners, uh, this is another part, another video in my series about transformation. In today's video, I'm going to show you three very important rules uh, that will help you not only in writing but also in speaking. So you can use the rules in different situations in your daily conversations. And uh, I would say you have to use the rules, you have to practice the rules and only then I think the rules would be much easier for you. Uh, so in this lesson, you will learn how to change a complex sentence into simple one or how to change a complex sentence into compound one and their vice versa. Uh, now, let's not waste any time and start with the complex sentence. Uh, today, I'll talk about a complex sentence. I'll talk about a complex sentence that contains subordinating conjunctions as since because these are subordinating conjunctions and you know what complex sentence is and i think you know what simple sentence is and what compound sentence is as since because you know that as since because are very common conjunctions that are used to show reason to express reason when you want to express uh, the reason of something then uh, then uh, then you have to use uh, you have to use these three conjunctions as what since were because but of these three conjunctions because is the most common one that we use to show a reason so the subordinate clause um, uh, you have to notice here uh, you can see uh, this part is subordinate clause, subject plus verb combination is a clause. This is a clause and this clause begins with uh, either because, or as, or since. So this is called, this is known as clause of reason. This is known as clause of reason. Okay, let's take an example. Here's an example uh, for, for your better understanding. Have a look at the example first. He could not go to school because he was ill. He could not go to school as he was ill. Or he could not go to school since he was ill. And uh, why could he not go to school? He could not go to school because he was ill. Uh, the subordinate clause here uh, comes last, comes second. Uh, you, can, uh, you can begin... Uh, the sentence with the subordinate clause where you can write as since because he was ill he could not go to school but the most important thing uh, here to remember is that when you uh, use because at the beginning of the sentence then it means you are focusing on the reason for example uh, for example uh, yesterday you could not go to college you could not go to college because of what uh, then you say, because I was ill, I could not go to college. It means you are focusing on the reason. Because he was ill, he could not go to school. Then uh, both the sentences have the same meaning. And I'll talk about today, I'll talk about today a simple sentence uh, where the phrase has to start with either because of or on account of or due to. And owing to is also possible. Uh, both the, uh, uh, all of these prepositional phrases have the same meaning. But there's a, uh, but there's a little bit of grammatical difference. Uh, I'll tell you that. Then today I'll talk about a compound sentence uh, where uh, you uh, where, uh, you'll notice n plus subject plus verb, uh, n plus clause where and so plus subject plus verb 
And now, before I go into details or before I go to the transformation, let's have a look at the structure first. The most important thing to remember is that uh, this is the formation. As uh, we know that these three useful words are conjunctions, as since because are conjunctions, that's why uh, we have to use subject plus combination, subject plus verb combination after these three useful words because uh, as since because introduce clause of reason. This is clause of reason. Clause means uh, clause is a group of words that uh, uh, clause is a group of words that must include a subject and a verb. As say after as since because plus subject plus verb. Uh, this is called clause of reason. Then, but when you use uh, prepositional phrase because of uh, including of because of or on account of due to uh, owing to after this phrase as these are prepositional phrase just use uh, either noun or noun phrase or gerund. Uh, you, uh, do you know how to uh, how to make up a, a gerund? Uh, we make gerund by adding ing to the end of the base form to the end of the base form. For example, uh, teach, what is the gerund form of teach? Teaching, work, working, was, am is that, uh, am is that, am is that was where, being, okay. Uh, gerund, verb plus ing. Then, uh, now I think uh, it's time for uh, transformation. Uh, let's start the transformation. Uh, he could not go to school because as since he was ill, or the uh, clause of reason uh, here uh, comes first. Both the sentences have the same meaning. As in, uh, as was uh, since because he was ill, he could not go to school. Okay, I'm making this. I'm making this complex sentence simple. Uh, the subordinate clause. The subordinate clause of this complex sentence. The subordinate clause of this complex sentence needs to be changed into. A phrase and the phrase has to begin with whether because of or on account of or due to because of on account of or due to uh, or owing to is also possible okay uh, so as we are making this a uh, phrase uh, first of all first of all uh, we uh, we need to take out the uh, the subordinate conjunction uh, as since because as since because okay and uh, Okay, in place of this, in place of this subordinate conjunction, uh, we are using because of. I'm using here because of, where you can, uh, you can use on account of also. But there's a little bit a grammatical difference. I'll tell you that. Okay, um, because of, um, because, uh, because, uh, um, because of, uh, because of. Okay, and uh, I've used because of uh, uh, as per the rules. Then because of, okay, uh, in place of these words, uh, in place of these uh, words, uh, you you have used because of. Okay, if you if you write the subject, uh, you have to use the possessive form of the uh, possessive adjective of the subject. What is the possessive adjective of he? His. Uh, because of his. Okay, the, as this is a possessive adjective, uh, this is noun modifier. So uh, the verb after this should be uh, should be made gerund. As there is no specific specific noun form of was, we have to make uh, we have to make it gerund. So uh, the base form of was is be. And uh, uh, we have to add ing uh, to the end of b, then it would be being because of his, um, because of his, uh, because of his being, because of his being ill, uh, including the comma, uh, write the, uh, write the uh, uh, rest of the sentence. He could not go to school. He could not, he uh, could not. Uh, go to the school okay now uh, it's uh, it's complete then what you can write what 
were uh, because of um, because of now uh, I'm taking out the subject it means I won't use the possessive form of the subject because of because of being then it would be because of because of being ill he uh, could not go to go to school the rest of the sentence uh, remains unchanged as this is that we have the main clause he could not go to school this is the main clause okay or because because of now uh, uh, in the first sentence I have used the possessive adjective of the subject and in the second sentence I have omitted the possessive adjective and in the third one in the third one as I have omitted uh, uh, in the third one I am going to omit the uh, gerund okay then as there is no uh, be verb we know that after be verb we use uh, we use adjective and uh, I'm going to omit be being so it would be uh, then it would be a noun so what is the noun form of ill uh, ill is an adjective and its noun form is illness because of illness because of illness and uh, what the rest of the sentence he uh, he could not he could not uh, he could not go to school okay what you can write uh, make this uh, start the sentence with present participle were were being uh, being ill being ill uh, put comma being ill he uh, could not he could not uh, go to school it's also possible so there are these there are these uh, four ways you have to turn the complex sentence into simple in these four ways uh, you uh, in these four ways you can uh, you can change the complex sentence into simple one and all of these sentences all of these sentences have the same meaning because of his being ill he could not go to school because of uh, being ill he could not go to school because of illness he could not go to school being ill he could not go to school in the last sentence we have used uh, we have started uh, with the present participle being ill he could not go to school okay now now how to make the complex sentence how to make the complex sentence uh, compound to make the complex sentence compound is uh, is really easy okay uh, now I'm making this compound sentence compound sentence okay uh, you know what compound sentence is uh, in the compound sentence we uh, we connect two independent clauses with a co-generating conjunction and I've given here that structure and plus subject plus verb and plus sub, uh, uh, were and so plus subject plus verb so in this case you have to mention the uh, uh, you have to mention the reason clause first you have to show the reason first uh, for example he could not go to he could not uh, 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 he was ill uh, he was ill in this case you have to mention the reason clause clause of reason uh, he was ill and so in place of comma uh, or in place of comma uh, uh, we are using the co-generating conjunction and were and so were and so and what the rest of the sentence he was ill and were and so he uh, could not he could not go to school he could not go to school okay as usual we have omitted the subordinating conjunction because uh, we don't need the subordinating conjunctions in the compound sentence so as since because 
uh, as since where because has been omitted here then uh, I've written from the subject up to the uh, uh, before the comma he was ill and in place of the comma I've used uh, I've used code in conjunction and and uh, and the I've written the result clause he was ill and so he could not go to school I think you uh, you have understood the transformation and now it's been clear uh, okay uh, okay uh, let's do some practice based on the rules we have just learned uh, here's an example I've written an example here in examples to be worked out because of uh, its usefulness uh, because of its usefulness it has become very popular it has become um, very popular p o p u l a r uh, first of all you have to say what type of sentence it is it is a simple sentence because we know that a simple sentence uh, has a subject uh, has a subject and a finite verb a subject and a finite verb is a simple sentence so here the subject is it and the finite verb is has and because of its is full usefulness this is uh, this is a uh, f this is a phrase of reason because of uh, it, it has started with the um, with the uh, prepositional phrase because of so this is the simple sentence because of it, it, its usefulness it has become very popular okay can you transform the simple sentence into the rest uh, rest ones complex and compound i think you can uh, okay uh, i'm going to help you uh, because of its usefulness it has become very popular so to make this uh, complex sentence uh, you have to make the phrase a subordinate clause and as usual the subordinate clause needs uh, needs to start with the uh, uh, with the subordinate conjunction as since were because okay so uh, okay i'm using here as were since uh, whatever uh, whatever it is uh, as as uh, it is useful as it is useful uh, okay uh, after as since were because you have to use uh, subject and finite verb because uh, uh, we are using because this is a subordinate conjunction subordinate conjunction uh, subordinate conjunction introduces uh, a subordinate clause so uh, because okay I'm showing uh, I'm showing you this uh, this is a complex sentence complex uh, complex sentence mm, as mm, word because uh, what you can write since also uh, as were because so uh, the possessive adjective would be uh, would be subjective form it would be it okay because of its usefulness so based on the based on the principal clause uh, write uh, write a verb as it uh, it is in present simple so it would be as because it is it is uh, it is useful it is uh, useful okay as it is useful comma as it is useful comma and uh, write the rest part of the sentence it has it has become uh, very popular okay uh, I won't write the compound sentence. Uh, I'm just saying uh, it it is it is it is useful. The compound sentence would be uh, uh, the compound sentence would be it is useful, and so it has become very popular. Dear learners, I think you have uh, enjoyed the class. That's all for now. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, dear learners, I've forgotten one thing. If you have any questions, ask me and I will answer them. Bye.